thing. That was quite a peal of thunder there. I'm sure we're going to hear some more. But uh, hopefully this rain lets up. Um, we're in Vas... Oh boy. Vax... Joe... Vax... Joe... Vax... Joe... Uh, Sweden. And we're going to pick up a trailer and take a load down to Poland. And... Uh, which... <laughs> that's quite the sound effect. Uh, that's uh, uh, Z-Mod's weather. Um, anyway, yeah, I added a whole bunch of mods, and uh, so I spent all my money. I got 9,000 euros left, got a truck and a trailer. It's time to get on with it. Turned the cheat mod off, so we got to pay our way from here on in. Kind of decided on this uh, setup here, and we're going to go pick up our load with our trailer, because it's a fairly short one, so let's uh, start from here. I'm going to hop in, actually. Uh, that. Yep, I want you gone. Thanks. <laughs> Get the lights on. And brakes are all off. We're good to go. Got our marching orders. Just around the corner. Uh, I might pause for a second here and just turn that uh, volume up a little bit on the engine can't hear it for the rain. Uh, one sec, I'll be back. Well, I guess we're just going to put up with a bunch of the noise. It's not bad. I turned the engine and the overall sound up a bit, and the exterior sounds down. So we'll see how that works out. Talk a little bit about the truck once we get underway here in the rain. <laughs> Let's up. Okay. So yeah, so we're going to now help me pronounce that. Bidgos whatever. <laughs> Z C Z or it's in Poland and my wife would be extremely angry with me right now because she's a first generation Canadian of Polish descent. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, she wouldn't be happy that I couldn't say that. She rattled it off like nothing. Um, anyway, let's uh, pick up the load. to doing this with a lot different truck configuration of longer trailers. So, let's see how we do. Oh, wrong reverse again. Or the phantom reverse, it's not the wrong one, it just isn't there. Rain 
lessened just a little bit there. And the sound went down just a touch when we uh, got back in here. So let's uh, head out and see where we're going. I'll have a quick look at the world map just to see what's going on here. So turn around, bunch of rights and lefts, and head on out straight through town almost to the ferry. A little wibble and a wobble, and we're on our way to this place. <laughs> oh man, I should get some help from Barb. I'm supposed to pronounce that. Slack. <laughs> After 100 yards, turn right. Oh boy, I was speeding like crazy there. Turn right. Actually, I should uh, pause for a sec here. One sec, I gotta turn on, uh, uh, sorry about that, I realized, uh, I was meaning to turn on, uh, fines. So our uh, load is really light. It's uh, medical equipment. After and, uh, 100 yards, turn right. It's quite light. Turn right. So for the truck, uh, it's uh, John Ruda's, uh, uh, what the heck did he call it again? This, I think he's trying not to say Scania, and it's uh, Scan Trans Group or something, I, I forget all, <laughs> it didn't really uh, click. But anyway, it looks like a pretty nice truck. Oh, 
Ah, that was a nice shift with no clutch. I, uh, what I did is uh, I noticed that they have the um, uh, real Eaton Fuller transmission mod in uh, ETS workshop, so I grabbed it because uh, I use it in ATS. And then um, I looked at it, it's all the same transmissions. So what I did was I put a um, the cast add-on that I had in ATS where I could put my own trucks in it. Just took that straight out of ATS and dropped it into ETS. And uh, sure enough, there's all those transmissions. So what I did, I put a uh, 16 speed uh, ultra shift, I think it was an ultra shift. Uh, fuller in it. So I've got that in here for, so I have a 16 speed. Ah, uh, here we go, it's the end of the rain. And for the, um, oh, that wasn't a very handy shift. Go straight. Oh well, I'm trying. But anyway, it's nice that that works. Um, the cast add-on and so I'm using the ZF 16 speed or 16 speed ZF whatever setting in the game for the 16 speed shifter. I'm using a real Eaton Fuller, <laughs> an Eaton Fuller, an actual shift knob that I bought offline and online and uh, ordered it in from a company that supplies them in the US. And I'm in Canada, by the way. And uh, oh, I guess I should have waited there. That's not good. Anyway, I uh, and I converted it myself. Still trying to get used to this. <laughs> I always in eight. Well, not always. Sometimes I'll put a a ten speed or a thirteen speed in, but I generally drive an eighteen speed over there in ATS world. Oh, that's an ugly one. Stop. Oh, 
<laughs> Lots of brakes. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, the load, the load doesn't weigh anything. I'm splitting all those gears. We don't need to. Got an abundance of power. Why does this look familiar? Did we come by here already? We did. I must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Cross the rotary. Third exit. Well, I heard you say that before. I must have messed that up. Exit ahead. Okay, I turn left here and I'm supposed to turn right. Go straight. Wow. Can't get turn good help right. these days. traffic coming here. quite enjoying this truck. It's uh, pretty cool. Pretty soon, uh, like I think I mentioned in the last video, it's going to be time to figure out how to do skins for ETS. yards, turn left. Yeah, these mirrors really get in the way. <laughs> turn left. Possibility. We'll take it. Oh, that was weird. Okay, out of here and hang a left. Go straight. Go straight. I guess so. Oops. 
really not good at that low shift, that uh, low RPM shift. After 100 yards, turn left. Turn left. Jake sounds like. Oh, it's not a Jake, it's a retarder, right? Cross the rotary, first exit. I really like that. Exit uh, ahead. I think it was a DAF truck that I. Uh, I think it's a default truck. I had the most excellent uh, digital mirror thing. Wow, that was so cool. Keep left. After 50 yards, turn left. Turn left. light to look at it in. It's sure short, uh, but, um, oh, that's me. Let's get going here. Splitting the gears here. You can move the stick pretty quick when you're splitting. That's it, top gear. So I need to figure out what's going on here. Let's get it in cruise. And um, let's see 80 miles an hour, 1300 RPM. It's not bad. Uh, I, cho I chose a transmission that came with the 358 uh, diff ratio. So I might want to drop that down. But you don't often go, it seems in this game, you don't often go more than 80 kilometers an hour. So this isn't uh, terrible so far. You guys will have to comment on you know what lies ahead and oh yeah so the plant's still the same we're heading into Poland and we're gonna start going southeast I want to get to Italy I want to go and see where my friend Marco lives and some of that territory and uh, then after there yeah the it can change like you know you guys and call some of the shots here, but um, I was sort of thinking uh, I'd head out of Go Italy, straight. come back up out of there, and hang a left and go around uh, Spain, go through France, and uh, yes, yeah, all kind of roll around, see what's going on. But uh, yeah, I'm certainly open to input. If along the way, and you know, I announced the plans that this is where we're going and what I want to do, and you got to, you actually live somewhere in the neighborhood, you want me to go through there, I can do it, like, uh, no problem.
I'll never get that gear. I gotta. Gonna have to go away in my own time and practice. <laughs> be a hardship, you know, like put a few more extra trips in on this game. I, I'm really liking it. I think um, what I'll do is uh, like I had that test profile that I set up and it's got a whole bunch of money in it. I bought a whole bunch of trucks so I could run around and, you know, check, check what the trucks are like and how they suit me and um, and uh, that's there's no point to that profile other than just testing stuff out so what I'd like to do I'm thinking is clone this profile but you know for my own use to uh I can learn more about the game and stuff, and if I would like to, uh, if I'd like to just go and do something somewhere, I can do it without affecting this uh, outcome here and what's going on. I, uh, I don't think I mentioned at the beginning in all that rain racket going on is that I'm uh, running JBX graphics now on here, JBX3. Hey, Poland. The only Polish stuff I know is Stolat because every birthday and everything that goes on, we all have to <laughs> we sing Stolat to uh, whoever's having the birthday and Everybody sings it to me, so it's pretty funny <laughs> to hear me singing that, I guess, because, right. number one, I couldn't carry a tune in a bucket, so I'm not much of a singer, but <laughs> pronouncing all these Polish words, it's pretty funny. Exit right ahead. automatic oh no there's a barrier hey he's got my truck Turn right. Turn right. a shout out to a few people. Uh, a real sim pilot was uh, pretty helpful. 
so far in this little adventure getting over here. A uh, gamer old man from my side of the pond has been pretty good. A3 Platy has been uh, chipping in uh, from the UK and I really appreciate the input too from everybody. Winter Soldier from Imagine Europe. And uh, yeah, just thanks to everybody. And my friend uh, Matt Hodgson in New Zealand has been pretty supporting. So yeah, thanks everybody. It's nice. Actually, this I set my um, tablet thingy to be in uh, miles for uh, <clears throat> for ATS, and it's like that uh, carries over to ETS. I don't know if I can change it because when I go back and forth on the tablets, this one's got a. Uh, After 100 yards, turn left. This one's got a dash panel that's uh, bespoke and it's in kilometers so that's kind of cool but I use the ones up there anyway the uh, trucks instruments turn left That's the name I can't pronounce. I think my friend Recon was telling me that uh, there's an option somewhere where I can have both the real name uh, in, in its native language and uh, my language, English. <laughs> well, if I could speak it. But. Go straight. back of my trailer. No damage. Go straight. Turn right. I guess uh, when it's daylight or busy out those are actual traffic lights, I don't know. Back there. After 100 yards, turn right. Here we are. Turn right. As it's saying in France, uh, was, was voila. <laughs> you have reached your destination. Okay, uh, where are we going to put it? Where do you need it? Right over there. Okay. Let's see. I look around these mirrors. Yeah, I really like that uh, that digital mirror thing. That was pretty cool. It's one thing North Americans got to learn. Go to Europe and learn stuff. I mean, geez. Kind of all stuck in the... Living in the past all the time over there. Or over here where I am. And I can't even see where the... Let's see if I got my uh, zoom in button going. I must be lined up dead straight on it. Let's find out. 
we'll, uh... Oh, there it is, there. I think that's it right there. Oh, stop. Get out of the way. I'm trying to look in that mirror. <laughs> Goofy thing. Oh, where are we? Oh, I'm going too far, I think. Uh... Can't really see what's going on, but I think we're doing okay. We might have... Uh some of our trailer on there. I don't see too much of it sneaking out this side, but I don't know. Maybe totally missed it. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I must have uh, run right over my trailer too far outside of the box back there or something. Okay, let's try this. Oh, we can see a little bit of the... Uh... Oh, there I am. Wrong reverse again. We can get a little more of that visible on this side. There we go. A little more. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. Well, that was cool. It was a lot of fun. And let's get it all shut down here. Oh, that brake didn't go on there, ghost. I got uh, some of my controls are a little uh, iffy, and every now and then, you know, you got to crank things twice and whatever. Kind of a bummer. And we got our own trailer now, so we push this button. Yay! We've got, we've more than doubled our money that we had in the bank. So we should be able to, uh, you know, we can pay our fuel and our way and any maintenance and whatever happens. Cool. So let's look on the world map. We'll plan out our next little step. That's where I want to go. Holy, we got a long way to go. Wow. We got to get all the way over to here. That's just where we've been. Wow, we got some driving to do. So as long as we're heading... Uh... Oh, Bernal, Bernal. This is... Uh, in uh, the racing games I used to play, there's a big track there. That I used to really like ripping around. So we really want to go towards... Uh, Salzburg. There's Prague. Cool. Oh man. That's too cool. All these famous places that I've yet to see. <laughs> man. Awesome. Anyway, well, thanks for following along, guys. Really appreciate it. And um, yeah, we'll just, you know, figure this thing out and get ourselves set up I th I'm pretty happy with the truck right now I think this is uh, gonna serve me well uh, and I took Platy said or not Platy it was a uh, real sim pilot uh, his advice on the trailer and yeah it seems like a pretty good choice so we'll see how we do going forward take care we'll catch you on the next one and bye for now